Hey everybody, Derek here from Badgerland Birding. Today we're going to talk about Flacco, a Eurasian eagle owl that escaped from the zoo in New York. And so we're going to go through this ABC News article about it. It's actually caused quite a bit of controversy um, between people who think that the owl should remain wild and those that think it should be caught. So this all started on February 2nd when there was vandalism on um, in one of the enclosures where this owl lived in the zoo in New York. And so vandals actually like cut the mesh of the owl enclosure and the owl escaped. And so he ended up kind of being outside the zoo for a little bit and then ended up in Central Park. And now that's kind of where he's been hanging out. So basically a ton of birders have been going to see this owl. And so there's been kind of like mobs basically showing up and people kind of hooting at it, but then other people say like, you know, don't do that. Um, so maybe some breaches of etiquette here, but it seems like other people may be kind of keeping everybody in line. Um, but you know, when you have big groups like that and photographers, things kind of can get out of hand too. So uh, what happened was the owl escaped, was then being seen in Central Park and they tried to recover it by putting out like baited traps, but uh, he evaded capture. And they were thinking that because he's a zoo animal that he's not going to be able to eat or really take care of himself in the wild. He's been in the zoo since 2010, but he's actually been seen eating the New York City rats and stuff. So like he'll cough up pellets and be like rat bones in it. So apparently he is actually surviving on his own out there. And basically he's become a celebrity and uh, it seems like they've given up efforts to try to catch him. And so a lot of people have been kind of praising this, like, yeah, he got freedom. Other people are like, he's a zoo animal. He's not going to be able to survive or something tragic could happen. So uh, this is like, you know, some images of the crowds here. And uh, an, a birder said, I don't think it'd be very easy to see him, um, that there would be a big giant crowd of people all around here. And you know, there is because it's such a big deal or such a like a unique sighting. Um, so, you know, people visited and expressed their kind of conflicted feelings of him kind of being harassed and like, you know, birds will harass him and stuff like that. But at the end of the article, here's some images of him, you know, um, fending off crows and things. But at the bottom here, uh, somebody said, he's like teaching me something, whether we be free for a couple of weeks in pure freedom and then die and to go back to a cage. Like, I think people are really uh, reading into this a little too much. Like, and for me, the fact that it was vandalism, like you're kind of letting the vandals win at that point, in my opinion, if they're getting this owl out of this cage, like I could definitely see something tragic happening where he gets hit by a car or, you know, eats a poisoned rat or something like that. And it could just be like a very tragic end. Whether it's worth the zoo's resources to go and try and recatch him, is you know up for debate uh, it seems like the zoo is kind of more just concerned about his well-being which is good they're kind of like well if he can feed and eat on his own you know maybe it'd be less stressful than trying to catch him because he could also get injured when they're trying to catch him so it's hard to say but if anyone's in new york you know you can go see a, a eurasian eagle owl but you know it's obviously a zoo bird so it's not like it's a vagrant or something you can count on your list but sometimes people don't seem to care about where the bird comes from they just want to see a cool bird but it's uh it's sad that kind of like the vandals it feels like the vandals won kind of this you know now because they wanted to release the owl and now that's how it's going to stay interesting that it's there sad that people are kind of mobbing it um, and just trying to like photograph it and, you know, they're hooting at it and stuff, but it's a really interesting story. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you think they should try to catch Flacco or do you think they should just let him, let him be free out in the wild? I mean, honestly, for a bird, I feel like living in a zoo is definitely not bad. Um, you're not going to be eaten by predators. I don't think owls think of it like, man, I wish I was out in freedom and outside of this zoo. I think they're just like food, water eating, sleeping, mating. And it's not like he's going to find a mate naturally out in Central Park anyways. Um, so I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding.